Friday, April 21st, 2023. It's just about 7 p.m. I couldn't have waited one more minute. My name is Adam, and this is a comic draw uh, guide. Um, what'd you call it? Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this lesson. By the way, you know how to do that? You grab it by this little bar right here. That's where I've been grabbing it. And you flick this whole bar really hard and fast. Snap it over there. And it'll fly over there. There we go. Now, this uh, little lesson... Oh, now it's 7 o'clock. We'll be discussing... Uh, uh, how to... Be creative or how to get your creativity hmm. flowing. Here we go. <clears throat> well, I probably should have another page. Whoa. There's a beep. Are you, if you are not creative, or you are having, I don't feel like being creative issues, uh, I've got a couple of techniques that I employ. Uh, it requires a couple of things. You need 20 minutes to uh, get into it or so. Then the creativity starts. Before that, it's just structure. Start by creating structure. Or by creating not structure and adding structure to it. You know, I suppose I could have done that before. I even not started this one. And then I would be being creative, would I? Okay, so we'll go the, the first route. Uh, and this is an easy way to do it. You just start drawing some lines. There we go. <laughs> that was a surprise, wasn't it? Wasn't that a surprise? So it took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 tries before there was a creative surprise. Isn't that interesting? Let's see. What else can we do? Uh, oh, I suppose we could create, turn the lines the other way. And so on and so forth. Got it? By the way, all of these might look very nice with a permanent uh, ink on a um, nice men's shirt. Maybe I should look into that. I wonder if there's a way to do that. I can just draw some little 
diagram. You know what I might want to do, though? I might want to, um... Uh... Put down some, uh... Some sort of, um... Fabric adhesive or a patch that's painted. Uh, I'll look into that. Mm. Mm. Ooh, no. That takes away from the whole theme, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not nice. Oh, look at that. That one's longer. Maybe that one's longer. That one's longer. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Ha! Wow. Now, if you would have told me at the beginning of this that I, 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, that I would have drawn any of these, I would have said, no, that's not going to happen. I, really? I never would have guessed that. Never would have guessed it in a million years. Put a border in there. Right? Never would have. But look. And then I suppose we can do this. Right? And what if we did this? But if we did this here, I think I'm, I'm thinking I might fill those in with colors. Hey, that's an angle. I didn't want to do angles, did I? Nope, I didn't. Oh, look at that. And now you just take your bucket. You can start plunking in some color if you want. Hey. Wow. Okay, we can do that. I didn't want to do that. Hmm. You just start relaxing and having some eggs, some uh, relaxing time with your creations. Well, why not? What if we found a paintbrush like uh, watercolor? There we go. And then we made it a little bigger. What if we did that? Nope. It needs to be a little bigger. A lot bigger. Let's try that. What does that do? Hmm. 
kind of obliterated that, didn't it? Yeah. Maybe next time I'll use it with uh, circles instead of instead of squares. There's something else you could do. We'll do this in the next lesson in just a minute. Let's go back to our colors here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my. Wait, what color was that? What was that? Oh, wow. Look at that, huh? Isn't that nice? Hmm. All right. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. Such a small target there. You gotta be careful when you tap on the lines. There we go. That's a way to be creative. Here's another way to be creative. This is kind of neat. I recommend doing this too. Come on. Go to brush. Presets. Go to your watercolor brush. Okay. And then. We are going to choose one color like that, and we're going to we're going to make little squiggly lines. Cheapers, come on! Why does everything have to be so hard? doesn't need to be this hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just make blobs. <laughs> Alright, then what you do is you go back to, to here and you choose the pen. Sorry. Ink. Got an Inker Pro. Put that on black this sucker down okay and, and let's see uh comic draw let's see so yeah, it contains the letters uh see was that a crow that could be a sign c o m i c okay and then d r a w 
we're going to make items. One item that starts with the letter C, one item that starts with the letter O, another item that starts with the letter M, and so on and so forth, all the way through out of these shapes and justify these shapes. And you know what I think is really cool? Is this one right here. I want to make it a shoe. Unfortunately, nothing starts with S. There's no S in there. So, okay, what starts? Let's choose a letter, R. Well, let's see, rattlesnake. Who's a rattlesnake? Oh, yeah, here we go. There's a rattlesnake right here. Yeah, it's a rattlesnake. Coiled up. Okay, so we did the R. That's a rattlesnake. Okay, um, W would be um, a water balloon. Let's make a water balloon. Something here that could be a water balloon. What looks watery balloony? Little boy. Yes. the water balloon okay and now something that starts with letter c how about a um clock c l o c k okay that's ought to be that ought to be easy a clock of course you gotta figure out what kind of clock i suppose i'm thinking uh one of those at the top of a tower I went to a, what do you call that, clock tower, where they play music, the chimes, what's the name of that thing? It's in the block of orange, a special bell, that there's actually someone playing the bells, something neon, something neon. Oh, do we need a little thing at the top? Bong. Bong. Some bushes are pretty fun there. Okay. Clock. Okay. Now we have the letters O, M, I, C, and D and A left. O, what starts the letter O? Mm. Orangutan, but I don't know how to draw orangutan. Um, ocelot, kind of like a mink or a lemur. Um, open house. <laughs> Realtors have these open house things. Where you go into the open house and you and you get nosy and stuff. So we should have an open house. I guess this will be the open house.
There we go. There's an open house. Okay, let's see. M. Meadow. Meadow lark. I think that's a bird. <laughs> All right, how about a meadow lark? Meadow lark. That's a metal lark. Uh, let's see. What's an I? What's a C? Uh, claustrophobia? Yeah, how about that? Claustrophobia. Fear of being in tight little places. Um, There's an elevator at an office building. Out of order. Help. Let me out. Little hands. <laughs> Claustrophobia. <laughs> All right. Uh, D stands for donut, of course. Donut. What else would D stand for other than a donut? Here's a yummy donut right there. Right there. Donut. Mmm. It's like maple donut or something, right? It's a donut. Okay? And that leaves I. Clock, open house, a metal lark, cluster for the donut. Oh, and an A. Right, listen, and an A. An A, B, Alabama. There's a state in the Al Alabama, Alabama. Alabama. The state of Alabama. Many of you don't know this, but the state of Alabama looks like this. The capital is right here, and it's, um, so that's Alabama. Alabama, I can't, Alabama, uh-huh, uh-huh, and the state is, uh, and the capital is, uh, El Torto. Uh, there's a river that runs through Alabama, and, and that river is the Rio de Alabama, and these mountains here are the Alabama Mountains. Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, over here is a uh, large uh, lake uh, behind a dam called the Alabama Dam. <clears throat> I have no idea what Alabama looks like. <laughs> okay, Alabama and I. What should I stand for? Uh, irrational. Literate. Uh, Indiana. No, I'm not going to draw Indiana because, as you can see, I already don't know how to draw Alabama. Uh, Im implode. Interest. Interesting. In um, what about a noun that starts with I? A, uh, a noun that you would see in the ocean. Um, ice. Okay, ice. Iceberg. An iceberg. Here we go. Oh, no. Water. Let's go around it. Yes. And 
and then <laughs> oh my gosh and then trapped in the iceberg is an angry monster with three legs It's frozen in the iceberg. There's some extra blobs. But you get the point, right? You put down the blobs and then rationalize them somehow. Put down your blobs. Come up with a word or phrase or something. Rationalize the blobs. And you've come up with drawings that you never would have drawn beforehand. I mean, look at that tower. That tower's not so bad, is it? And <laughs> look at Alabama, right? That would work if you're drawing a comic and you need a map. Okay. Uh, there's a rattlesnake. Not, it's actually needs some air in it. Looks like it's a flattened rattlesnake. Um, this poor creature should be put out of its misery. Um, there's a little uh, a water balloon. Otherwise, I never would have drawn. But it works as a water balloon, right? If you put that in a comic, it would work. Uh, there's somebody <laughs> stuck in a uh, elevator uh, experiencing claustrophobia. Yeah, let me out. And an iceberg. What else? A donut. I can't forget the donut, right? An open house. That's how to push start your creativity. And a lot of times creativity does need to be push started. You've got to start it. You've got to get it going. Somehow, even if you don't feel creative. And then rationalize with some sort of bloop. Rationalize the dots. Maybe use your the blobs. Maybe use your name. Spell out your name. And use the first letters of your name. But after a while, you can't use that too often. Right? Um, and uh, there's another beep. Guess that means it's, means it's time to go. It's been a half an hour. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I hope this helps. If you are having a challenging time being creative... Or you think, hey, I'm not creative. I'm not creative at all. Well, don't you bet on it. There might be a lot of creativity in you. You just have to tap into it. And you can do that by... To get your creativity flowing. By... Takes about 20 minutes to get it going. Start by creating structure. And then adding to it. Like we did here. Never would have drawn those. Or by creating not structure and adding structure to it. Created not structure and created not structure and then added something to it. Just didn't do those. My name is Adam. I hope you get as much delight out of Comic Draw as I have. Thanks for watching my video. Okay, bye.